Let's see. You know he's a pretty good gift giver. I know. Ew! <laughs> Don't wink at me. Hi guys! Welcome back to She Show Videos. Yes, welcome back to Just The Tip. With your host Brittany and Elizabeth. Yep. Yeah. Quick holiday tips to enhance and brighten your holiday season. This is installment number three of Just The Tip. Can you believe it? I know. The, <laughs> the tip is has almost gone done. Fast. Yeah. Goes in and out, the tip Real does. Quick. Uh huh. Real what are we quick. talking about today? Today is a fan favorite. A little quick snickety snack for Ooh. your enjoyment. Yes. Okay? Yep. Who doesn't love a snickety snack? I'm actually eating a snickety snack right now. I don't know how to make crispy M &Ms. M &Ms, though. These are the cookie crunch M&M's. Ooh, those ones are good. I don't know how to make those either. Me either. So if you haven't watched our other two quick installments, we've done a decor and a signature cocktail. Okay. That signature cocktail hits right. It okay. really did. And I have new eggnog, so. I'm glad you brought. I have one that's kind of old up there too. Again, I should get rid of that. I got rid of the last one. We're going left. Okay. So today we're going to make uh, party balls. Because it's just the tip. Get it? Just the tip. So anytime you're entertaining, right? You're busy. You got a lot of stuff going on. So who doesn't love a crock pot recipe? Are you putting the crock pot this way because there's a significant hint? I think I dropped it. Or punted it. It's hard to say. Would you stop trying to punch it? Okay. I don't know. Maybe I punted it. Let's, that seems to strike. <laughs> okay. You tilt it. So today we're making balls. Party balls. For a big group. Okay. But you could make balls for a small group too. Or a big group. Or a big group. Doesn't matter. You just need a couple hours lead time, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't make this if your friends are just popping in on you. No. This isn't a good one. If your friends are popping in, I'd have the stuff available for a quick charcuterie board, like the Valentine one Ooh, we did. That's always a class. Uh-huh. Or just even cheese and crackers mm -hmm. in general, veggie tray, Maybe something some like olives, that. Yeah. But in the event that you are going to a cocktail party, you are taking a dish, you're going to a gift exchange, whatever the case may be, grab yourself some frozen meatballs. Looks like a family size. This is a family size. And this is the Walmart brand. I did a grocery order pickup. Not my favorite, but you do what you gotta do. They do have them at Aldi. Aldi well. carries them. Oh God, hopefully I can open this. I didn't think I had. You continue. Aldi <laughs> has them and you know we love Aldi. You can get a miniature or regular size for a small group or a family size. For a large group. For yeah. a large group. Oh, you struggling there? Success. Okay. It took you a little while. This is a tough recipe, so try to follow along. It's like ASMR, you know when they do those videos? Okay. We're gonna start with a double bag of meatballs. Okay. The recipe is one for one for one. Okay. okay. One bag of meatballs, one regular size bottle of barbecue sauce. 18 ounces. Mm -hmm. And one regular size bottle of grape jelly. This is a double bottle. This is a 30 ounce. Is that why we're doing double? Yep, because barbecue. that's 32 ounces. It's close enough. Okay. Typically, you just buy the small 18 to 18. We're going 30 to 30. So if you were doing like a normal size batch, you would just do one. 18 and 18. Yeah, and you can do really any brand because they offset each other. It's not like one's going to take over the other. So you could do Aldi brand, just regular barbecue sauce, Aldi brand grape jelly. Mm -hmm. These are just what I had in the pantry. My 10 year old is a sauce. barbecue sauce junkie. So sweet baby rice is his favorite. And then we're literally, oh my God. You see that? This is an ASMR one. I think, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I might have to recommend a uh, spatula scraper for this jelly. You know what? I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I'm ready. You, how long are you going to make me wait? It's really getting to be excessive. Is it? You're married We've to Chris Taylor. We've been friends for 20 plus years now. You're married to Chris Taylor. You say show. take it slow. You'll appreciate me more this way. <laughs> Barely even like you. That's not true. I know. Okay. I'll go I'll give this another scrape. Okay, once we get it in here, zhuzh it up. Okay. Do you have a spatula? Did you bring one down? No, I didn't. Okay. Well. Imagine I'll put a spoon like close to my hand here, okay? Mm. Get a spoon or a spatula, stir it up. 
wind it up. Plug it in. Okay, I'm gonna put these ones on low because they're gonna be in the crock pot like all day. Low and slow. Low and slow. Um, the trick to using a crock pot is not to take the lid off to check on it. I agree Did with that. Did you know statement. that? Yeah, people take the lid off and then you let out all the steam See, that's actually helping it. to mm -hmm. cook inside. So if you're gonna put it on low, I'd leave it for probably at least three hours before you open it up. If you have it on high, you probably wanna check after about an hour. Meatballs are fully cooked, so they're not cooking. We're just warming them through. And we want the jelly and the barbecue sauce to become one. When two become one? When do we become one? What if we get demonetized? Because I sound just like the Spice Girls. So you think your one voice is harmonious as five voices together. Luckily, we're not monetized now, so we can't get monetized. You're lucky. I know. Because we were so close to that actually happening. I know. So these party balls, if you want to make it more Christmassy, right, you could put them on, a, like, take them out of here, put them on a Christmas tray, drizzle them with some of the sauce, and stick some meatballs meatballs toothpicks into the meatballs right they have like ones with santa on the top or whatever or the red and green i just serve them in the crock pot actually with some christmas paper bowls next to the crock pot because i am Classy. the epitome of class and i probably got all the things at aldi first of on a regular course, day you're not the epitome of class i've seen you drunk countless occasions i don't remember any of them <laughs> I'm sure you don't. <laughs> My favorite is your bachelorette. No, party. <laughs> I was drugged. That's Were not you fair. drugged? Was I drugged? By a girl you invited. Exclusively. <laughs> Holly, I need you to collaborate this story. Don't do it. Do it. So this is a great, a very easy, super cheap, super quick appetizer for any party. I highly suggest it. And they get eaten up. I never, literally never have leftover meatballs. Ever. They're really good finger food. They are. Especially if you have the toothpicks near, people will just stick them in and like eat them. You know, COVID's real. We don't want everybody touching the same spoon, whatever, That's you know, true. all those things. But they get eaten all the time. So I highly suggest it. And you can call them like jingle balls. I'm going to call them okay. Britney's party balls. Those are different. Are they? I, feel like your, I hope your balls are bigger than these meatballs. I'm more of a girthquake and then with a smaller ball, you know? That sounds I'm weird. I'm slimy. Like, it sounds like that when it hits You know what, guys? <laughs> if you decide to make the party balls, let us know. Some people use cocktail sauce. If you're one of those people, tell me what the differences are. I'm not a huge cocktail sauce fan in Only general. For shrimp. Right, so like I don't use that, but I know some people do. There's a few different versions of this, but grape jelly, barbecue sauce, meatballs, equal parts, get her done. Okay? Do it to it. Yep. Happy holidays. Bye, guys. Just the tip. Oh, yeah, with she show videos. Yeah. Just the. Just the tip. With she show videos. With she show videos. Bye, guys. I need some love and luck and never leave. God. God, my voice is really.